Of course, how could I forget? It used to be my go-to drink here. Listen, Gafur, <clears throat> I suppose I should call you Professor Gafur now. We're old acquaintances, so how about we stop beating around the bush, hmm? First you wanted to catch up, and now the coffee. If you have something to say, just say it. Hold on! That's Lisa! The Librarian Lisa! Our Lisa! Wow! So Lisa used to be a Spondamod researcher? Paimon's never heard her mention it before. Besides, taking care of a library is important work. I've never considered it a waste of my time. Two people have been eavesdropping on us for quite a while now. Is there anything we can help you two with? Uh, hello, Lisa! Well, if it isn't you two... Long time no see, cutie. Paimon. A research project on ley lines? Oh, darling. You haven't joined the Academia, have you? We've seen our fair share of combat since leaving Mondstadt. Exploring a domain is like a walk in the park to us. It's been so long now. I can only imagine what wonderful stories you have to share. Well then, cuties, now that the recruiter is gone, we can sit down and have a good chat. <laughs> Much has been happening within the Academia, and Gafur is paving the way for his future. By the way, Lisa, what brought you to Sumeru? Are the knights okay with you being gone? Of course. Jean gave me an extended paid vacation. It's rare that I get any time off, so I thought to myself, why not go on a trip and relax a little? I don't know how much of our conversation you heard, but I studied in the Spontamod Darshan at the Academia for two years. But instead of staying at the Academia after graduation, I went back to Mondstadt to become the librarian for the Knights of Avonius. So that's why you came to Sumeru, right? To walk around and meet with your old friends and teachers. You'd like to know, wouldn't you? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. After all, it was ages ago. If anything, it all boils down to a difference in philosophy. When I first came to the Academia, Professor Cyrus really appreciated my work and invited me to participate in several major projects. But most of those projects ended in failure. To be honest, they went too far trying to achieve wisdom beyond mortal understanding, so failure was only to be expected. I didn't want any part of that lunacy, so I left. Anyway, now that I told you, make sure you keep it between us. Hmm. Sounds like you've experienced a lot. I don't wish to return to the Academia, even if Professor Cyrus came to ask me personally. Rather than conducting experiments day and night, I'm much more suited for working hours that start after 10 a.m., with regular afternoon tea every day. Oh, Lisa chose to be a librarian because she doesn't want to deal with hassles all the time. I prefer to take things at my own pace when it comes to tiring tasks like a job. And besides, being able to take regular vacations is also really important. It's a pity I didn't even have time to visit that child in Gandharvaville yet. Gafur found me just after I arrived in Sumeru. Speaking of which, what about you two? What brings my favorite cuties to Sumeru? I see. Even I didn't expect them to be so bent on their pursuit, wanting to even surpass the gods. Sounds like you were involved in some remarkable events again, and I was completely unaware. And to think, you were even able to handle a crisis of that magnitude. Cutie, your abilities are really beyond measure. Having accomplished such a feat, I'm sure you must have a lot on your plate right now. I was actually thinking about inviting you two to walk around Sumeru with me. Oh, what a pity. It's very rare for us to meet like this. Oh, then would you like to spend some time with me, darling? That would be wonderful. I plan to spend the next few days visiting around Sumeru City. 
At the end of my stay, I'll leave from Gandarvaville and return to Mondstadt via Liyue. Who knows? Perhaps we'll bump into each other again in Sumeru City or Gandarvaville. Hmm, come to think of it, there's something romantic about such a chance encounter like this. It's like icing on the cake for this little vacation of mine. If you see me around, be sure to come and say hello. Otherwise, I might start feeling lonely. 